Ashmita, another matter that you were listening in on was the Supreme Court saying that social media influencers and celebrities are as responsible for misleading ads as companies that publish them. The directive came during the hearing of a case against misleading ads published by Patanjali. Uh, Ashmit, you know, the Supreme Court widening the ambit, the scope of the issues that it's now taking up as a fallout of the Patanjali matter. What was today's hearing about? Indeed, the scope has been widened so much so that as many as five ministries of the central government have been put on notice. Uh, as far as the takeaways from today, there are three key takeaways. Number one is that the Apex Court is putting celebrities, influencers on notice that you are equally liable and responsible as far as misleading advertisements are concerned. Here, the Supreme Court noted uh, that as far as consumption of products are concerned, the buying decision is concerned, it's greatly influenced by these celebrities and influencers that they need to be held accountable and to that count have reminded them that there's a central guideline, central government guideline in force, which says that there is a, a fair amount of due diligence required on part of these influencers and celebrities before they commit to promoting a certain product. Now, that's as far as influencers are concerned. On the other front, uh, there is also accountability being sought by the Apex Court from the media, both from the broadcast as well as print media. Uh, there's a new condition that has been cast on the media that before publication of any ad, there needs to be a self-certification uploaded on the government portal, uh, the broadcast seva portal for uh, broadcast media and there will be a similar portal set up for print media. A self-certification of due diligence will now need to be uploaded. No advertisements allowed without that self-certification. And finally, on the health ministry, on the food safety front, uh, the Apex Court has asked very pointed questions as to the number of complaints that have been received by the FSSAI, which falls under the health ministry, uh, for substandard food, for adulterated food, for food uh, which has extraneous elements. And that is something that the health ministry will have to respond on. So clearly, the scope being widened, the Apex Court seeking answers. All right, Ashmit, appreciate you joining us. Ashmit Kumar, they're reporting on the two important matters.